Ladies and gentlemen, Tiger Woods is back. And these are the clubs that he's gonna be using on his return. So we're gonna talk you through his bag, what he will be using at Augusta. And to test these clubs out thoroughly, we are gonna be subjecting them to the toughest testing golf, the FSX Skills Challenge. Get! Yeah. Is that gone in? Yes, it's gone in. Has it? Now, I don't mean to brag, you can check the video out here. I used to be, maybe still am, the world record holder at the FSX Skills Challenge. There are 14 targets. The closer you get to the pin, the more points you score. Blue circle is five, white circle is three, green circle is one, and then if you miss the green completely, that is zero. I really didn't like the Milbright three wedges, but since they put Tiger's initials on them, I love them more than my first born. The grind on the bottom is the same as Tiger is using, and they are super adaptable. He only has them in a 60 and a 56 degree because his pitching wedge loft is so weak. He's back. He's back. Both Tiger and me. This 60 degree wedge, if you've not checked out the review I've done on Tiger's wedges, please do here. What a surprise. I absolutely love them. Like using them over the last few weeks. I've committed to my Adele's, but these are, these are making me think twice. 30 yards, just a little swing. The FSX Skills Challenge can be one of the most frustrating things ever invented. Gloves on, it's getting serious. 60 yards, just half a swing. Come on, 60 degree, after all that praise I just gave you. Hold on. Oh. I find it difficult, the 60 yarder. That's probably one of the most difficult ones because the green's a lot smaller than a lot of the further targets. So 85 here, 60 degree, that's just a full swing. It's easy. The Bridgestone Tour BXS, I would say without doubt the most underused and underrated ball brand in golf. This Bridgestone is not the longest ball, but gives supreme control on iron shots and wedges, and that is what Tiger is looking for. I've not really done much testing of this Bridgestone ball, apart from when I've done Tiger videos in the past. It's, it feels very soft, very soft indeed. Full swing, 60 degree. Wow, spin hard. Oh, it's right over the top of the pin. I struck that so well. It's a good sign, it's a good sign. 100 yards, 50, 60 degree. Come on, this is your only shot of the day, 56. Make it worthwhile. Oh, sit down. Wow, that run of threes. It could be worse. Obviously, these aren't my clubs, they're tigers and, you know, the distance. It's just, I, what should I say? Yeah, let's, let's go with that. <laughs> let's go with that. These irons could have been forged in heaven itself. The blade length gets progressively shorter, the longer the iron, turning the three iron into a compact butter knife. Higher in loft than other irons on the market, they are not built for distance, but supreme control from a ball striking god. It's time to move on to Tiger's iron. So pitching wedge, 120 yards, just a three quarter swing here, solid contact. Left, is it? Cut him back. Settle in. I keep forgetting to do this well. That's the guarantee now. After every shot, it's got to be good, actually, isn't it? I can't, I can't just go ripping it out after a shank. So, why did I say that? 150 yards, 9 iron. I'll need to strike it well. These lofts are a bit weaker than I'm used to. Go, go, go. Honestly, the difference on these irons between striking out the middle, striking out the toe, striking out the heel is astronomical. The club heads are tiny, but out the middle, they feel like heaven and out the sides, they feel like ah, Blackpool. Uh, it should be said, by the way, I am from Preston, football rivalry. I've been to Blackpool many times and I've enjoyed it. <clears throat> My uh, PR manager just been in and said I should say that. <laughs> I went on my first day with Carly to Blackpool. I told you that. 
No, it was really good. Spent a fortune. Uh, had oysters from Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Risky. 165 solid Italian. <laughs> oh, again, it's not a great strike. Big kick. Big kick. Go on. Oh, they, they just show you up. Like when you don't strike them well, they just show you up. 180. Six iron. Oh, sit down, sit down. You know what? I'm not even disappointed. I'm not even disappointed. Striking these irons out the middle, it just feels so good. Oh, five iron from 200. I'm actually these irons a lot further than I remember. It's a nice smooth swing, yeah. Oh, man, just... Beautiful, just so good. Like, so, so good. So with these irons, they're slightly different because they're tigers, but bear in mind, TaylorMade do a tour blade, which is pretty much the same. That's what most of the tour players are using. So nice to have Tiger back. Ah, oh, Will the Golf still is not ready to lose him yet. Still need him in tournaments, still need him playing. Four iron, 215. Oh my God. Oh. Word. Just incredible. I forgot. I forgot and I apologize. I forgot how good these irons were. And I'm not just getting wrapped up in the hype of him being back. Honestly, these are amazing. In a quandary. So I predicted he's gonna have a seven or a five wood in the bag. And we've not hit one yet. I've got a three iron, which I think will cover 230. I wanna hit the three iron, but I think we've almost got to hit a fairway, haven't we? So talk about the fairways, though it's the three iron. Okay. This is a bit of guesswork, but it seems likely he will use the Stealth plus three wood with the loft cranked down to about 13 degrees. He will then add in a five wood or a weaker three wood. Late last year, he used the original Sim fairway, although a new Stealth could go in the bag this week. So one of the advantages of having a seven wood uh, or a five wood is the amount of forgiveness that it offers when compared to this butter knife. Maybe I should put it back. No, come on. I just struck those two beautifully. Let's go three. 230, three iron. Oh, I should have hit the seven wood. Go, huge kick, huge kick, big run. Never in doubt. Ah, yes. Not bad for a return, like considering I've not done it for a while. The Telemade Cell Plus he has in nine degrees, which is set down to 8.25. And his shaft is a Mitsubishi Diamana D Plus Limited 60 gram Tor X. Well, that's the most Tiger Wood shot ever to end, isn't it? A big careening slice with the driver. Ah. Oh. I should have just hit three iron again. I should have hit three iron again. Absolutely loved getting my hands on these clubs again today. It's brilliant to have Tiger back. The world of golf simply is not ready for him to stop playing yet. And I'm not sure it ever will be. The greatest of all time is back on the links. That is so exciting. Absolutely wallop that like button if you're excited about having Tiger back as well. And make sure you subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. See you next time.